Hi, I'm Renee, and I clean and organize my followers' homes for free. Here are some of the before pictures. These are some of the pictures that were sent to me before I started cleaning. In this episode, I help a recently married couple expecting their first child get cleaned and organized. I started off in the master bedroom. At first I started out by picking up everything off the floor and sorting them with like items. As we picked up the clothes off the floor, we started a laundry pile. Because her husband worked third shift, we put blackout film on the window so he could sleep during the day. When we got to the master closet, I started by removing all the items. You gotta just love this kitty cat. This cat followed me everywhere. As I was removing the items, she was determining whether she wanted to keep the items or to donate them. She ended up with several bags of donation. The husband did not have a dresser in the bedroom. Later on in the day, he went to his parents' house to pick up his dresser. So here is the backstory. The wife reached out to me and wanted to get their house clean and organized before the baby came. Normally I don't show the people that I help. But this couple was more than happy to be on camera as they helped me clean. She also wanted to learn how to organize so she and her husband can keep her house clean after I left. So once again I started by pulling everything out and having her go through what was keep, discard, or donate. Then I put things back in the baskets with like items with like items again. Ooh, onto the kitchen. This was my favorite part. So then we had lunch and I went to Home Depot to get a racking system for her husband to put all of the tools that were in the kitchen on the rack. We were originally gonna put them in the shed but realized there was no room in the shed until they cleaned out the shed. This was a good holding spot until they did that. So then I started working on the food pantry, throwing away any expired food. I explained to them my methodology for the food pantry, which was light items on top and heavier items on the bottom, and then again sorting like items with like items, cereal with cereal, soup with soup. I'm so glad I could help this family. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with all your friends. Hit the notification bell for more videos like this. Then the kitchen table was cleaned off and the food was either put back in the pantry or thrown away. I'm also working on the table in the back which was their coffee bar. Sorry about the camera, it's hard to see the coffee bar. There were a lot of cups below that they did not use, so we boxed those up to be donated. 
I then asked them which items they used the most so I could put those on top of the coffee bar. I so forgot to take an after picture of the coffee bar and the kitchen table. In the kitchen I looked through each cupboard to figure out what was in each cupboard. I noticed they had his, hers and theirs sets of dishes. After some discussion, they decided that some of the his and her dishes would be donated. I also showed them that their shelves are adjustable by moving their pegs inside. Now I'm cleaning the cupboard above the refrigerator. And we decided that what would go in there were items that they very rarely used. In this cupboard I'm putting medicines on a higher shelf and spices on a lower shelf. There were quite a few items on the counter. My goal was to make sure that everything went in the cupboard and they had more counter space to be able to cook. I'm also adjusting this shelf. This is a review that the homeowner left for me. Today was one of the best experiences. Not only did she help me organize my home to tip-top shape, she also taught me as she went so I could learn. She's also such a pleasant person that you'll love spending the day with her. She works literal magic. It would have taken me weeks to do what she did in a day. Her time is so appreciative and I don't know what we'd have done without her. Thank you so much for the kind words. That kitty cat is still keeping me company. When I was cleaning out from under the sink, I wanted to be aware that she was pregnant and that she would have to bend over and get items. So I flipped the crate upside down so she wouldn't have to bend as far. This area was a drop zone when you walked in the door. So we made it into a place where her husband could put his items for work. Then it was time to tidy up the laundry room real quick. During the day we had done seven loads of laundry. I then moved on to the master bath bathroom. It was a tight quarter so it was tough to film. So here's the before and here's the after.
Thank you for watching.